Yeah, I used to live here when I was a young man, 17 years old, 18 years old. I moved out here from Kentish Town, which I wasn't very mad on. All my mates were living in Kentish Town, so I was suddenly out in Crouch End, which is in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. It wasn't so well to do, I think. It was a lot more down, you know. I don't know. I mean, everything these days is more well turned out, and all the shop fronts and everything, it's uh, a bit more posh, I think. That's the one it started with, yeah. One Step Beyond, yeah. There you go. It's our first album, yeah. That was quite a long time ago, yeah. And it really took off, yeah, and all of a sudden, you couldn't do any wrong. I mean, from, from just sort of playing in my bedroom, um, just rehearsing, you know, pretty amateurishly, suddenly we were thrown into this, really getting popular and everything, and we started recording. And we were just about competent enough to be able to play in time and complete a song from the beginning to the end, you know? One must change oh, with the times. Yeah. My girl's mad at me. I didn't want to see the film tonight I found it hard to say She thought I'd had enough of her Why can't she see? She's lovely to me But I like to stay here I used to deliver bananas when I wrote My Goal, yeah. I mean, I was working with this bloke. When I wrote My Goal, the, there was this fella who I was driving the van with. We were like a team, me and him. And he was always going on about My Goal, this, My Goal, and he said, we'll get me and My Goal getting a flat. Um, and then, and then so, so we were going in and all out of these places. He's always going on about My Goal all the time, which was driving me a bit sort of... Uh, Anyway, I didn't last at that job long, but after that, when I was writing that song, it just came to me that, my girl this, my girl that, because it wasn't something that I would ever say, my girl. But anyway, that's how it got into the song, because of him saying that, yeah. My girl's mad at me We argued just the other night I thought we got it straight We talked and talked until it was light That song, my girl... It was a better relationship, yeah. It was a better relationship, and, um, yes. You've met Mike, right, and I don't know, maybe he was chatty with you, but he's not intrinsically a communicative, sociable, chatty person. I don't know how she felt about me. I mean, that wasn't really a big thing about um, wanting to stay. It wasn't like we were having big arguments or anything. We were just having a, a regular sort of relationship, you know. Um, and I just wrote that song, and that song just came about on, on that sort of thing. I'm the muse. I'm the one that inspired him to do such good work. Yeah. No, because I'm quite, you know, provocative. Why can't she see? She's lovely to me. But I like to stay in and watch TV. I do, who doesn't? Everybody wants to stay in and watch telly. I used to watch a lot of telly in those days. Men like to stay in their man cave and just watch football and drink beer and be on their own, and, and women are trying to relate to them all the time, you know. My girl's mad at me Been on the telephone for an hour We hardly said a word I tried and tried but I could not be heard I remember, you know, sometimes being on the phone in the long silences and nobody saying anything. And, uh, and that got into the song somehow or other, yes. It was quite frustrating on the phone. He'd call me, I was living at my parents, and he just wouldn't talk for hours. And I'd get really frustrated and upset. And so that's what that... It was one of these long, silent phone calls. Mm. And that's what the song was about. Why can't I explain? It's funny, when you think something is very personal and about yourself, often a lot of people share it, I think, you know. I mean, I like to think that, especially if it's sort of something authentic, you know, and it's sort of something genuine. And I like to, I try to be genuine. I think it's better to be genuine than to be fake. <laughs> 
you know, strangely. <laughs> that awkwardness that, you know, I, I couldn't express myself. I couldn't tell you how much I loved you. Um, I'm just kind of, it's like men are locked up in themselves and they can't express themselves. And I think my, Mike is a worse version of that. He's like the extreme version. Um, <laughs> But I think Mike is somebody that expresses himself through music. Mm -hmm. It's all on his fingertips, you know, and he he's not somebody that can say, he can sing it to you, but he couldn't tell you. Now when I try to speak, she says that I don't care. She says I'm unaware. Now she says I'm weak. We're lonely. <laughs> You have a relationship with someone and you're just like, talk to me, you know? <laughs> yeah. They do seem to want a lot, don't they, women? Yeah, now that you've... <laughs> what? 